Yo, what's going on? In this video, I'm gonna be talking about how you can go about improvising in the style of Matthias Asato. And before we begin, I get a quick question for you. Is it Matthias or Matthias? I apologize if I'm getting this wrong, but if you could please clarify this in the comments, I will not make the same mistake again in future. The video that we're gonna be studying and referring to today is the jam that Matthias did with Pete Thorne and Tim Pierce over the song, Get Lucky. So this jam is in the key of D flat minor. And that was a brilliant start. Rather than starting off in the typical minor pentatonic shape, Matthias starts over here on the fifth fret and slides into the fifth interval of D flat minor. And then this particular interval is beautiful. This is the 11th of the D flat minor beautiful interval to emphasize. These two phrases are really cool and the first one involves a series of thirds. Let me play this one real slow for you. And fast. And then the following phrase slowly. Already you may start to notice a few trends with some of these phrases and that's the quick half slides that sound like this. I really like the sound of those and you'll hear plenty more of those throughout this jam. That's another cool one, let me play that slow for you. One cool thing I wanna mention with this phrase here is how Matthias combines the usual minor pentatonic shape up here with another shape down here. So we're combining with, they're obviously in the same key and therefore in the same scale, just played in a different area of the neck. And that phrase slowly. So those little slides in the middle are played really fast. Now this phrase I feel like is quite iconic to Matthias's playing. We're gonna be playing a lot of double stops here. So I'll play this real slow for you. So there's a few half styles to practice among that. Let me try and play that up to speed. Let's check that phrase out real slow. So it's based around this shape here. And we have and fast. And then following that is an ascent that sounds like this. And then this is what follows. So again, lots more double stops there to play with. Let me play that up to speed. Now that's a real groovy phrase. Let me play that one slow for you.
and fast. Followed by another cool phrase. Let's check that one out slow. And up to speed. Ah, let's check that one out real slow. And up to speed. Now I think that's a really cool noteworthy linear phrase. A lot of people tend to forget that you can go across the strings rather than up and down. And to finish that phrase on the second or the tenth interval is such a beautiful note to finish on because it leaves you in sort of a bit of suspense if you like. So let's check that phrase out slow. And fast. Now that was a real cool phrase, so let's break that one down slowly. It's kind of divided into two bits. You've got the first bit and then the fast end. So let me play that together real slowly. And then the fast end, but played slowly, of course. So if you put that together, you have this. I'll admit that fast phrase in the middle is quite tricky to pull off. Let's move on to the next phrase. There's another fast phrase. This is one of my favorites from the bunch here. Slowly, it sounds like this. fast let's give it a go so you can see it starts off real fast from and then a bit slower towards the end there I think that arpeggio is quite cool let me play that slow And fast. Moving on. And that's the last noteworthy phrase that I want to go through towards the end there to finish off the song. So we have. There we go. So with all these phrases in mind, remember it's all relevant to D flat minor, but if you play these enough and keep it relevant to that standard minor pentatonic box position here, you should be able to transpose all of these phrases to any key. Now what I suggest you do with all these phrases is take your favorite ones and incorporate them in your own playing, maybe even add your own touch and your own flavor to them. So merely take inspiration from this rather than copy exactly what's going on. So there we go, that's the end of the lesson. I hope you took something away from this lesson. If you liked the video, then like it. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And if you wanna support more content like this, then please check out my Patreon page where you can find tabs, including all of the examples that I shared in this video. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.